Good evening or morning or night, wherever you're watching for my from my dear sisters and brothers in the light. This is my first video and I just wanted to do a really fun pick a card reading regarding what should you be doing right now. You know, a lot of us are in quarantine. A lot of us are, you know, staying home. Some of us have to work, of course. But here is something to maybe get your juices flowing. Let's get some inspiration. Excuse my accent. English is my second last, my second um, language, but it won't be my last. <laughs> okay, please go ahead. I'm gonna pause here for a second, and uh, please pick your pile. This is gonna be pile one, pile two, and pile three. Okay, let's start with pile number one. Let's take a look from the tarot of sexual magic. We have justice. Well, I guess it's time. <laughs> it's time to pay some bills, y'all. Pay some bills. Get your papers in order. If you have anything going on, you know, um, you know, legal proceedings, anything that deals with uh, justice in your life. Make sure you have everything in order. Even just organizing your office, organizing your room. Make sure you have your uh, student loans, you know, um, fixed, your college papers up to date, work on, you know, if you need to get filled out anything for insurance, if you need to um, take care of anything um, custody related, which it looks like it's going to be, it's going to be fruitful. So whatever is going to happen that deals with setting things right with justice, it looks like it's going to be something very um fruitful just you know you gotta take care of business okay and let's see the second card is from the santa muerte tarot and we have the two of cups reverse this is such a beautiful card isn't it it really is which as you can see signifies a union between two people or if you think of it in the active in the aspect of a person's souls it can mean harmony in your own soul because you know we all are um, two energies within us, masculine and feminine, yin and yang. So reversed, I'm seeing here maybe you need to get down to business and work on harmonizing with yourself, you know, or with any, any relationship that's not going right right now. Try to keep the peace. Try to understand the other person or try to understand yourself a little more. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't be too hard on someone else, you know? So if there's anything you should be doing right now, nobody really wants to think about those things. Sometimes you don't want to think about the things that you have to fix in your life. But uh, just think about the fact that once you're done with them, then there'll be more peace, more harmony, more love for yourself or with someone else in your life. So let's continue with uh, card number three. the uh, i think it's called wisdom oracle chakra wisdom oracle and this is expansion this is a wonderful card so this card speaks about great spirits great people that think alike coming together and coming up with a solution with an idea someone here can't make up their mind like you know great spirit couldn't come up with the with whether you know they should make the sky blue or not so he consulted with the other great spirits to see like hey what do you think of this idea what do you think of that maybe there's a creative project that you got going on and you're kind of indecisive about well maybe should i do it this way should i do it that way should i incorporate this should i incorporate that how would it look maybe ask your friends ask your colleagues your mom your brothers your sisters your partner you know, just ask someone's opinion, you know, sometimes, and you can tell, you can tell when it's somebody who, um, words you can trust, um, and who brings something good to your life. So if you have any projects going on right now, even homework, and you're kind of like at a standstill because you don't really know what to do, go ahead and ask someone else what they think about it and how you should, um, you know, go about it. Okay, well, thank you, option number one, for
for coming into my channel today. I hope that you stay well, stay uh, safe, and be blessed. I hope to see you here in the next reading that I do. Bye! Okay. Let's go ahead in. Pile number two. Pile number two. First card from the uh, tarot of sexual magic we have here. Oof, the Queen of Swords. Well, guys, it looks like maybe some of you have uh, had a disappointment in life. Maybe some heartache. Maybe there's a divorce going on in your life. Or maybe just something didn't go how you expected it to be. The Queen of Swords is an extremely strong woman who's been through a lot of stuff in her life. But as you can see her back, it's straight, right? She's still standing up straight. It doesn't matter if she thinks about someone that did her wrong or if she's thinking about how things didn't work out in her life when it comes to matters of love. But she's still standing up and she still knows what she wants, you know? What you should be doing right now? Knowing your worth. Knowing that no matter what happened to you, you still are one hell of a strong person, okay? And you have a lot going for you. You know what you want. You have learned from whatever it is that you've gone through. And you can teach others about it. And there's this air about you that um, others can admire for your fortitude, okay? So if there's something going on with your life right now that's not going the way you want it to, lean on your strength. What you should be doing right now? Leaning on your strength. Leaning on your intellect. Leaning on... Um, knowing what you want okay and then let's see we got card number two which is the seven of cups making good choices what you should be doing right now focusing on making good choices not you know staying for long on one choice and wondering hmm it's the right for me should i pick this one um yes you have an abundance of choices but they're not always going to be there so make wise choices don't get stuck in one. Don't get stuck in the fantasy of having many choices. What you should be doing right now, pick one. Pick one that, uh, with your intuition, that you know is what's best for you, and go for it. And your third card, from the um, Chakra Wisdom Oracle, you have Wisdom. So this pile, you know, you know a lot of things. You know what you should be doing right now is using your wisdom to better understand yourself better understand the world maybe sit down and have a conversation with yourself journal uh get your journal out and write about the things you've been through and what you can learn from them and what you can learn about yourself and trust in you know the higher powers that whatever happens to you whatever's going on in your life right now it's bringing you further wisdom into your life. Well, thank you, pile number two, for coming into my channel. I hope to see you here in future readings. And um, stay safe. Stay blessed. Bon voyage. Okay. My dearest pile number three. Let's start with you. Let's see, this is your first... Uh, this is your first card from the Tarot of uh, Sexual Magic. Here you have the strong, the handsome, tall King of Pentacles, the stable one. But it's in reverse. What should you be doing right now? You should be focusing on your stability, on your coin. There's something going with your coin that it's not, it's not where it should be. So if you're having, if you're spending a lot right now, Watch your money, okay? If uh, you're not sure of, you know, if you're going to be moving, if you're going to be buying property, if you're going to be, you know, going into a relationship, make sure that it's balanced. Make sure that it's stable. Make sure you got everything in order because there's a little instability right now. So get your things in order, find more stability, and take care of your coin. Take care of your money, of your finances, of your home, okay? That's what you should be doing right now. 
let's take a look here and for option number two well well you are going to be getting things going it's you know the wheel of fortune is one of the major arcanas and it brings a lot of good luck your way what should you be doing right now you know just waiting for that good luck that's going to be coming your way setting things in motion, being positive about what's coming the next chapter in your life you know there's going to be a, a next chapter in your life so what should you be doing right now be ready for it be ready for good luck be optimistic okay plan make good plans for you for the future and know that they will work through if you are if you believe in them okay as corny as that sounds this is a great card to get the wheel of fortune yeah good things coming let's take a look third card from the chakra with some oracle cards you have creation okay well creation is a story about the spirit that goes through the earth pretty much giving people or uh kind of helping them discover their creativity what should you be doing right now discovering your creativity what you're good at creatively maybe there's a hidden talent you have maybe you are a good reader maybe you're a good painter maybe you make really cool uh, crystal jewelry <laughs> maybe you write poetry maybe you write novels maybe you love finger uh finger painting or regular painting or you know film or videos or music this is telling you maybe get down with yourself you know create know that you have a talent you possess a lot of talent that maybe has not been discovered yet what should you be doing right now explore that talent acknowledge that talent and uh move forward with it because certainly the spirits have brought you and have given you a gift for you to use thank you thank you pile number three I hope to see you in any future readings that I might have. All of you have a good day. And um, let's hope I'll make another reading soon. Bon voyage.